Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's uh, Monday, September 1st, 2014. Okay, I know as I said before, I don't normally make these kind of debunking videos, but there seems to be such a, uh, an appreciation for it. You know, I read your comments, how many of you appreciate the debunking I've taken place here. And you know, even with Dabu7, man oh man, unbelievable how many of us feel so similar alike and it's not till somebody voices their opinion in a video and all of a sudden you realize, oh boy, I was thinking the same way. So uh, Dabu7 will not take my challenge. He will not debunk me. It's the same thing with Beautiful, beautiful Girl by Dana. They, these folks cannot debunk me. I, my research is too rock solid and I find too many holes in the BS that they post. And uh, Now uh, the latest one here is Energy News and you'll see by the end of this video here I'll, I'll link up to last night's show with Beautiful Girl by Dana and sure enough in his description box all the crooked people that are promoting this scam are all listed there. Many of the same names here I've been warning you from the beginning when I started the busting Beautiful girl by Dana on his big dead ocean scam uh, they're all listed there so in this latest story here from energy news here it's now again uh, following along here with the death of the Pacific Ocean you know because they all got to keep selling this scam you have to understand it's very important uh, and how they're all connected you'll see at the end of the video it's, all the names are listed there so again it's a uh, 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 the Moic acid, they don't want to talk about it and sure enough, Energy News is not going to do some research into it. So I'll link up down below in the Show More tab all of the pages that you see here and if you want to read something, hit the space bar, read it, hit it again to unpause the video and then progress on. I can't go over all of this but there's enough proof out there to let you know that um, this is not a radiation thing. Uh, it's, it's taken place many times in the past and what's worst of it that this one here was actually forewarned it was predicted as you can see the dates are October 24 2014 but it goes back even further than that if you want to read this entire story as I said it's all linked down below and uh, yeah even going back to November 10 2010 they're warning hello don't be dumping all this metal in the Pacific Ocean because you're going to spur the growth of toxic microbes so Fukushima, I think not. As I said, this is not the first time we've had algae blooms. It's not the first time it's affected seals. Energy News is taking a story and running with it so they can scare the crap out of you because again, they're publishing another story here. Chunks missing from bodies of salmon in the Pacific and lesions over 50% of the fish reported. They're not going to tell you the whole story on here, but hold on. I've discovered I've got some great images and I'll link. The, you can go read their story if you want. Uh, again, they, they only stress out the, the stuff that they want and they won't present the real story. The fact is there's actually a boom going on in the Pacific Ocean. But they're not going to link up that because, of course, it, it's all about the mystery die off and the fish are dying because they all play in part and part here. And I've said before how these people all promote each other and you go look at Energy News and who's the first big lion scammer they have? There you go, Arnie Gunnarsson. Yet we're supposed to, what, listen to Missing Sky and... Uh, uh, all those other people that, that, that say that he's the best guy on the earth and no why do we want to listen to junk park the junk park Ernie Gunderson park energy news missing sky Nibiru magic who else miss Melky the big fat lying clown who I've busted many times here using her own her own emails Telling people I, I, I was begging for money to go across Canada to do my radiation tour in 2011 when I actually sponsored the whole thing. Anyways, it's sad how these people are all interlinked. And the fact is, well, there's a bumper crop here of sun, uh, sockeye and uh, yeah. The lampreys are cashing in and if you watch my videos from uh, just a couple of days ago I was showing how the Department of Fish Bees here were talking about how 2013 was also another bumper crop for the salmon run and he also believed that in 2014 the numbers were looking like it was going to be again another bumper crop. So when the fish do well, well of course sea lampreys and freshwater lampreys do well. So it's not just the fish, it's uh, yeah, mammals are being attacked too. It's an opportunistic feeder and anything swimming nearby, watch out, they will attack. And these pictures here, they're all linked down below. So, so you folks can spread the real truth here because we need to get rid of the lies. There's enough lies and misinformation here and when they all tie into each other, it's very clear to see how there's a set agenda. You know, 
unbelievable how these there are supposed to be what conspiracy researchers i don't know but they don't do any research at all it's very clear so these things hide in the sand here and they kind of wait for something to swim by and they latch on it it's very sad they're not going to educate you they're going to scare you and tell you it's the end of the pacific ocean when in fact no the reason why there's so many of them out here it's because we're, we're having this great boom of fish i hate to say it it's what it is. I wish I could fearmonger you and tell you, oh, it's the end of the ocean. No, they're not going to link up everything here. You just got to do a quick little search and you'll find out that this has been going on for a long time. There's lots of proof of it. You know, uh, many fishermen have caught fish themselves with the lamprey still attached to the fish. And these are older pictures here. These aren't fresh from this year, just to let you know that this has been happening for a long time. The only problem is now, now is there's a boost. There's a lot of fish coming out here. And yeah. Like I said, even winter fishing, there you go, the same mark. It happens in the fresh water. They've been, you know, this stuff has been known for a long time. It's no big secret. It's just the problem is you have these news sites that are only propagating one story, one side of the story, because it's all about fear-mongering. It's not about educating people. Of course not. They want to fear-monger you so you can think that they're doing a great job and send them some donations because, boy, oh, boy, they're going to stay on top of it. Well, I hate to say they're not staying on top of it. And when you realize that they're all there just to scare you and they're all in it together, you know, but if you pay enough attention and you wait long enough, yeah, they all show their true colors. And that's what I've been doing. I've been out here on YouTube since 2007. I started my first YouTube channel in, in 2008. I've been watching all these characters and we're going to continue connecting the dots. Now, so these sea lampreys are much bigger and take bigger bites out of the fish. These are older pictures, folks. You can look for them yourselves. Dolphins fall prey to them too. Big sea mammals, whales, like I said, long history, bumper crop will pull out lots of, yeah, elk-like species are going to target all that fish swimming around. So I posted here again here on Fukushima Day 1265, a video where I showed the fish was flourishing on the Pacific West Coast. Energy News and, and all those other people, they're not going to talk about this. You're going to have to come to this YouTube channel to get that kind of news. And I'm going to continue bunking them because I realize a lot of people appreciate it. And, and that latest video here that was uh, uploaded August 29th, where again, I debunk a beautiful girl by Dana. And I introduce you guys to the democracy, real democracy, direct democracy. I'm not going to talk about that in this topic, but it's coming again. And I'll leave a link uh, to all this stuff. Again, in that video, I showed how BC fishing was doing very well. Unbelievable. Even up in Campbell River, where beautiful girl by Dan and where he lives. Yeah, stunning rebound. These are fresh stories here. There's no doubt about it. All these scammers are all interlinked. It's a long story, but like I said, I've been out here for a long time, and they're not going to debunk me. Why? Because you guys are doing a great job. Thank you very much. Okay, the West Coast Tidal Pool Project is starting right here with connecting dots. It's very obvious. You guys have realized these scammers are all in it together, and you're only going to get the real truth here on Connecting Dots channel because I'm going to make a point of using your footage so people can see what's really taking place. This is right here on Vancouver Island. He's not going to show this stuff. Because Dana knows darn well that if he goes down there with a camera and he sticks out underwater and he starts showing you folks all the sea life that's there, people are going to be like, what the heck? So again here, I'm going to pause this, move it ahead. I'll leave a link down below so you can watch the entire video. But I just want to give you guys a little taste of it. So again, this is all footage he doesn't want to deal with. He doesn't want to try to debunk it. He'll stay away from it. So please send me all your footage here that you take on the West Coast. Okay, and, and, and take notice here how some rocks have lots of sea life and other ones, well, they're just covered with barnacles. That's the way it is. So for him to show just a picture and always the same picture taken from the same distance and tell you, oh, no, 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 there's no life. Absolute liar. So. He's supposed to come down here to Victoria. Boy, oh boy, do we have a surprise in store for him. Because a lot of you want the truth, you appreciate the truth here. And, uh, well, we're going to go out of our way here. There's a few of us that are really interested in this because we live on the West Coast and we know he's absolutely lying. And to see everybody else here on YouTube and, and some of them that we, other people have been following for a long time on YouTube, realizing that they're all part of this scam, yeah, we're going to bring some truth on YouTube, so hopefully you stay tuned. You know, he just doesn't want to deal with these. Instead, he wants to show people some pictures from far away and tell them, there's no life, it's dead. Anyways, the link's down below if you guys want to go watch the entire video. But, oh, there's a crab. Oh, no, oh, that's the last crab on the West Coast. <laughs> 
Okay, another video he won't deal with is, well, this is um, Claire Stanhope, who I've been promoting, another person on YouTube, a regular person, you know, who's interested in the Pacific West Coast. Why not? She lives right there on the Sunshine Coast. So she knew, she knew that a beautiful girl by Dana was lying. She went out there and took some great footage. It's another, uh, you know, another person again who was called a bunch of names. He, she was called a stupid blonde or something by a beautiful girl by Dana. So she went out there and actually took some great footage. He does not even want to talk about it. Won't even go near it with a 10-foot pole. Look at all those birds he was said that were missing on the Sunshine Coast. That's just one location. Anyways, the video is loaded with sea life. I'll leave a link down below. You can watch it. And in this latest video last night, beautiful girl by Dana again some name calling uh, you can tell we're, we're, we're striking a chord here these people are listening they realize that their own followers are listening and I hope so you Fukushima hounds here's a special video a request I should say in this video for you people because your leader here is telling you that the Pacific West Coast is been killed okay uh, and the little uh, the first it was a entire Pacific Ocean and he it, then he changed the motto that or the what uh, is wording and he was saying now it's almost dead and now in his latest one he's not even saying well it's just the tidal pools that are dead Fukushima hounds why don't you ask your leader to go down to the coastline where he lives and test some of the seafood or these bivalves these clams anything that he can pull out some radiation he's not going to do it I'll bet you he won't do it. Why? Because as soon as he goes down there and tests all the sea life in the tidal pools in his own hometown right on the Pacific coast where he's saying it's all dead and you folks all realize there's no radiation in anything, you realize the con is over. So his, his con is soon over and I'm going to con continue connecting the dots and as I've mentioned in the past, these people all promote themselves and the only person I know here who I trust is this gentleman right here out of Japan. That's it. Rest of them, garbage, garbage, garbage. Laura Monette, she's the one there coming out with that crap that some laser beam took down the, new, the, uh, the World Trade Towers. Sorry, all garbage. Rad Chick, she's the one telling people that radiation Fukushima fell on her daughter's arm and burnt it. Nibiru Magic, another big scammer. Go watch my video. Miss Milky the Clown, the liar, missing sky, and the two more liars. Pink Sapphire, another article reader just like Nibiru Jack, promotes the same scam. None of them actually want to do any real reporting. Andrew Bisu, use me in my use me in my video, then turn around and stab me in the back and spread lies about me. Unbelievable. I don't want to deal with these people. Stacy Lane, again. Pro proved to her with her own emails that she's a big fat liar. Kevin D. Blanche, the other sent Mr. Censorship, goals falling, it's not worth anything, blah, blah, crap. Steve Moyer used to talk to him in the beginning, not interested anymore. Why? Because he's joined the very cool liar people. I'm not interested. So if you're a new subscriber to mine, I've mentioned before here that if you're going to sit back waiting for your upload notifications, YouTube has been censoring the notifications to many of my subscribers for so your best to drop by right by connecting dots too. And I've been asking here for money for a while back because I want to actually buy a gamma spectrometer so I can test the food here on the Pacific West Coast because I happen to live right in Victoria, right on the Strait of Rwanda Fuca, right where beautiful girl by Dana and on the Jeff Wrench show he was talking about how the Strait of Juan de Fuca is like the Bay of Fundy and pulls in massive amounts of water and the radiation has been pulled up there and that's how it killed everything on the Sunshine Coast. Well, guess what? I happen to live there. So why not have me ongoing testing? I'm not going to ask for thousands of dollars to go out on a trip. The way he's setting it up, he's going to keep milking these people so he can go out on these boat trips. We all live here on the Pacific Coast. I can go right downtown and get mussels that are picked out of Desolation uh, uh, Bay. Um, we don't need to go boating everywhere. So Fukushima Hounds, use your head for a second here and get your great old leader to go down to his shoreline and test. Okay, some of the seafood that he says it's all been dying on these tidal pools, there must be remnants of the radiation. And if not, guess what? Good. You don't have to worry about that. You don't need to fund his trip because he can't even find, find radi radiation right on his own coastline. Oh boy, he's so busted. Beautiful girl by Dana. Your scam's coming into an end, my friend. And when people realize, when people realize I'm actually asking donations for a real gamma spectrometer to, to check the food, the sea life, the kelp, all the stuff that's going to bioaccumulate the radiation right here on the West Coast, they're going to be donating to me. 
I mean, you're, you're, if you've been watching my videos, they already are. But I mean, they're going to be donating in droves because I'm not going out spending gas going to all over the place. By the way, your boat isn't properly fitted for what you're about to do. Single engine on the West Coast in the fall? Get real. Anyways, I was a first mate of a ship. Maybe I should educate you on boating because obviously you know nothing about that either. Take care, folks. Hope you enjoy the truth and spread it. Thank you.